Hi, here we will see how to connect PostgreSQL with the Fast API. I have already the basic setup of the Fast API application, and here we are going to use the SQL Alchemy the ORM to connect to the Fast API. So for that, initially we need to install some packages. Those are SQL Alchemy and Psychop2. The SQL Alchemy is the ORM. Just we'll just install that. Let's install SQL Alchemy. Just install the SQL Alchemy here. And also we need one more the package called Psychop2. Okay, this is the PostgreSQL adopter so for the python programming and i'm also installing that yeah we install the two required packages for our connection so here in the base folder i'm going to create one more file called database.py so this file contains all my database configuration first we need an url this is called like database url i'm keeping the name as db url so it contains a uh, path to our database first one is the protocol name for for, for postgres sql it will be like postgres sql postgres sql and colon double slash after that we need to keep the username defaultly when we install the postgres sql the username will be user will be the postgres user so the username will be postgres and colon you need to mention the password of the user i need to mention i'm mentioning my password there and at you need to mention the port or the domain or the ip address here we are using the local host we are just keeping the local host and at last we need to mention the database name so uh, create this database before running the server now okay this is the path so initially first we need to create an engine for that we need to local we need to create an engine to run the server with database so that we need to import from the sql we just installed sql alchemy right so from sql alchemy we need to import create engine and that one we need to have a variable here engine equal to create engine we just imported in that we need to bind the uh, we need to pass this uh, URL to this in this function create engine function and we need to have one more called we need to now we just created an engine so we need to do the we need to create a session now so I am giving the name as session local We are creating a local session to transfer to have the connection so that we need to uh, we need to have a session maker that also we need to import from sqlalchemy.orm we need to import the session maker uh, here you can see session maker so in the session maker we need to bind the engine here so that is why we stored that in a variable engine okay and finally uh, you need to have a base class that maintains the classes all the all the base class here we will import that from the sql alchemy dot ext dot declarative we will import the declarative base so that we store will store in a variable base equal to declarative base we will need to initialize that function so this is the base class uh, will be used for all the classes which we define in the models and all so here this is the database configuration required for connecting the fast API to the postgres so and uh, now we'll create a sample model here for that i am creating one more file here models.py so i'll just create a sample model for that we need to import some things from the sql alchemy i'm importing the column field 
to declare a field we need this column one and also the type of the column string or any other fields integer and boolean fields whatever you want you need to import them first so here i am declaring a model class name i am giving the student the name as student in this we need to uh, pass the base class here that we need to import from the database file from database i am importing the base which we declared there so that we will give in the argument so i am having the first column as id uh, and the column which we declared in the above so the type of this column will be the integer so as it is the id i am mentioning the primary key to true and one more column will have called name the type will be string and and also i am having one more column called age and the column name will be integer so like this you can define all the columns whatever you want in a table so this is a sample model for creating a table and one uh, one more the last thing we need to do we need to have some other tool called alembic so that tool will maintain our migrations and we can uh, save the changes whatever we do in the models okay for that we need to have we need to install one more application here one more tool sorry so that is uh, the package name it will be install alembic a l e m b i c so this pack this tool will maintain uh, all the migrations whatever we do changes in the models here if we change something and all so if you do migrations and save the changes so that it will directly reflect in the database so i'm installing that i already have that package here so uh, if you don't have it will get installed so after installing you just need to initiate that uh, alembic so to do so you need to do alembic uh, i hope you are it is visible alembic init and you need to give that uh, directory name that is same alembic so if you do this you can see in your base folder there will be one a uh, directory created called with the name alembic so here you before going inside the directory you need to specify the url uh, what you already specified the same url you need to specify in the file so i'm just copying that and in this alembic dot in ini so initially in this file you need to mention that url if you scroll down after opening the file if you scroll down here you will see sql alchemy url so here you need to just enter that url without any single quotes okay and go inside the folder alembic and in the dot env env dot py you will see one target metadata so here you need to mention your base metadata so to do that we just import base from the database file and base just base is required and also you need to import all the models to get uh, to make the file identify your models from models to import all the models whatever if i am importing all the models here so here you need to write target metadata base dot metadata okay that's all we we need to do for creating the for having the connection between the fast api and the postgres sql so we can verify the connection and before verifying the connection just uh, make sure you have the database whatever you have mentioned in the here school db i'm just going to my database server and i'm logging in so to logging in you just need to type psq post psql hyphen capital u and the username postgres so it will ask for the password and just to i'm listing out all the databases available slash l so here you can see uh, there is no school database so we need to create that create database school underscore db and 
remember to keep the colon after every query when you are executing the queries so i just created the create i mean i just created the school database now to do we have the alembic tool so first we need to run alembic revision and auto generate so it will generate all the schemas uh, automatically oh in the models we doesn't mention the database name here we need to give the, the information of database table name table name underscore underscore equal to just need to give student whatever the name you required so we'll run it again so it will find out the changes whatever we do in the models like we already imported that base here so here you can see there is a new table created student so after that we need to run one more command upgrade you need to save these changes whatever we see in there like adding the table upgrade head so it will just create the tables whatever we create. we have we have just seen here the student table so we can verify that in our database so i'm going to i'm going to inside the school db school slash c school db so now we connected with the school database we'll just need to see all the relations whatever there slash dt so we can see there the table name student has created the alembic version table also will be created to maintain all the versions like all the changes whatever we are doing that will be saved in this so this is the student we just created and if we do any changes in our models or anything we can just uh, redo the that auto generate and can do it for example i'm adding a column called class equal to like grade anything so column and the integer field so that we have changed the database now so we can just uh, do the auto generate command again alembic revision auto generate so it will just uh, find the uh, changes whatever we have done so we can see uh, here we have added the new column student dot grade like in the student table we have added the column student so to save the changes we just need to run the same command alembic upgrade at okay so the new column will be there in the field like you can see uh, select star from student so you can see their name age and also the grade okay so in this way we need to just connect the fast api with the postgresql database if you have any doubts just let me know in the comments we'll explain you thank you